welcome back users in the last video you saw the setup of time shift backup utility and in this video we will do a small overview of the time shift backup utility so this is the gui of the time shift uh, backup utility so here directly you can see the different snapshots that have been created so that is for the debian 11 uh, system that i use in between, I had installed uh, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed to check out. So that uh, uh, snapshot is still there. So the <coughs> update utility GUI has a create, restore, delete, browse, uh, settings and wizard menu uh, at the top. You can donate to the timeship project. It is very uh, recommended to uh, donate because uh, the developers need your motivation so small donations really motivate the developers to continue the project and at the top right you have got the menu so in menu you can view the time shift logs and about so the uh, time shift utility version is 21.09.1 this is the tjtech.com, the, uh, the developer of the time shift and the copyright belongs to Tony, uh, Tony George who is the owner of tjtech at gmail.com. These are the license credits and uh, close the screen buttons. Coming back, uh, you can create a manual backup. So when you create a manual backup, it starts syncing uh, files with rsync. And now you, you remember it will use the configuration uh, that is snapshot configuration you had uh, you had uh, saved during the setup when you first started your uh, time shift uh, utility after the installation so it will directly use those settings if you want to change the settings you have to go and change the settings Otherwise, if you directly after uh, doing the setup, if you go on the create, uh, hit the create button, it will create the snapshot according to the uh, settings saved earlier. So now it is showing me one directory has changed. So there are checksums, timestamps, sizes, permissions, owner group, everything is there. It will show you on the fly. And at the end of the uh, rsync, uh, it will show you the complete uh, count of files and directories and the which items were checked. There are checksum, size, timestamp, uh, permissions, owner and group, everything it will show. So this is how it works. I will close this. So the snapshot has stopped. Now to restore a snapshot, you have to just select one of the snapshots and then hit the restore uh, selected snapshot button i will not do because it might mess up my system and this is the delete so you can delete the snapshots so what i will do is i will delete the manuals uh, now the tags i will explain you the tags so m is the manual then uh, o is the optional sorry on demand that is manual uh, snapshot M is the monthly snapshot, H is hourly, D is daily and W is weekly. And this is shows the system name. And there are some comments you can edit also. You can view the rsync clock for the particular snapshots. So it is parsing the log for the particular snapshot. So there are 6,12,207 lines. So this might be for the total all the snapshots created and then it will pick up the uh, relevant lines for the snapshot selected by us. So here you can see the uh, log. So I will close it or maybe we should stop for that. If it is fast, we can stop. Otherwise, the video will get very long. It is happening fast. Let us stop. Let us see what happens. What kind of details are shown in the log file?
let us see what happens now it has slowed down maybe okay we stop it it is not stopping we cannot uh, go back to the main GUI you have to wait now there is no other option for the parsing of log files to complete About to complete now. Okay, so this is the rsync log. So first it created the bin folder, created the init rd image, created init rme image old. So whenever what will happen, uh, the kernel will be changed or if some uh, boot, uh, boot related uh, packages will change, then it will uh, uh, result in change in uh, change in the backup files so it created a lib a folder lib32 lib64 lib x32 folder and different folders so this is the upstream cache boot boot system map system map boot config so you can see all the different system files it has created So this is the backup of my home directory. I will not show many things because uh, I have to maintain my privacy. Okay. So this is also what happened. It creates an image basically. So it copies uh, the system image and makes a backup of the system image complete. So when you are, when you restore the uh, back uh, snapshot, it opens up like an image and then the image gets copied to uh, and overrides the present system in your uh, laptop or PC. So the backup image snapshot will be copied to your system and it will override the corrupted uh, system files and uh, system image or system files you can say and uh, your laptop or PC will be restored to a good hand. This is how it works. So I will just close, uh, close the log viewer. So now you are back in the main screen. So from here you can browse the selected snapshot. Right now the function it is not working. Then the settings is there. So here, whatever uh, yes, uh, you can bar browse also the different uh, directories and folders from here. It will directly use the uh, your file manager. Okay. Okay. 
we did not see so this is uh, the setting we had done uh, when we first uh, opened the uh, time shift and you uh, and did the settings using the setup wizard so these are the filters so we had not selected any root file so it is in the minus uh, section we have selected all the files in the home uh, sami folder so it is in the plus sign so you can change from here and miscellaneous is there so date format you can uh, change the date format from here okay so so total six snapshots are there uh, and out of that uh, 126 gb of the backup partition i have only 16.5 mb is available that is free uh, if you want to change the settings you use the settings menu otherwise you can use the wizard what happens is when you click the wizard again the system settings will be done from fresh you can use this or you can use the settings menu both is available so this is the complete overview of the time shift uh, backup utility it is recommended that all users use either this backup utility or other backup utilities available in linux thank you very much do subscribe to our channel uh, what i am saying is uh, there are a lot many viewers new as well as old who are coming back and watching our videos but they are not liking or subscribing to our channel so users please understand that uh, liking and subscribing commenting on a ch channel gives us motivation without motivation uh, we cannot continue the work good work we are doing so uh, my humble request to all the viewers is that please at least subscribe or give likes so help uh, others at least in kind so i am doing the video for the community i want to give back to the community used uh, which is giving us such a beautiful linux distros which we can use freely at home and do our productivity so please it is now your turn to uh, support us and uh, so the support will be mutual and uh, the linux community can grow and deliver uh, better software for the community thank you very much bye bye